This is an installation video for the M-Carbo Marlin 795 trigger kit. Tools needed are a hammer, small brush for grease, paper clip with an L vent into it, a 964 Allen head, a one and a quarter inch finishing nail, a punch, needle nose pliers, and a straight blade screwdriver. The pliers are modified to be finer. Six pounds, 10.5 ounces. Six pounds, nine ounces. Okay. As always, first perform a safety check to ensure the gun is empty, magazine end chamber. Remove the trigger guard from the bottom with the Allen head. Lift the barreled action out. This is the trigger return spring. It's stiffer, so we'll replace it. We'll only remove the forward pin right to left, towards the red safety button. There's our stock spring. Here's the kit return. It's a finer gauge wire. Put it in place, reinsert the pin. One end is deformed, so we'll turn that away and insert the smooth end in first. Push it through the spring and trigger starting from the red safety button end and going the other direction, and finish it with the nail so it's flush. Check your safety and your spring to verify it works. On our barreled action, we'll push out the plastic pin and lift the mechanism out. You can see the mechanism is cocked. The hammer strut sticks out. This is the strut and this is the hammer bridge. We'll stick the paper clip into the hole and hold the energy. Release your hammer. It should stay caught by the paper clip. Remove the three retaining clips. Remove the bigger one on the back. There's a wave spring underneath it. Do not remove this one. Leave the chrome piece in place. Lift the plate off. Remove the parts, feed ramp, disconnector, and hammer. Sometimes the stock disconnector spring removes easily. Sometimes they'll need to bend out. Install the kit disconnector spring. It has one long straight leg with an L and one short leg with a bend in it. Hook the small end through the hole. Insert the long L end through the hole on the plate. Make sure the disconnector is flat. Use your thumb and push the disconnector end back towards the coil. Then, take your pliers and bend it straight down, making a triangle. It'll make the coil more flush, but it needs to be tighter. Bend the triangle up towards the right. Don't flatten it, just fold it over. Use your pliers and pull the point over, cinching it against the plate. Now the coil is flush. The magazine well and feed ramp go back. You can use an old pipe cleaner and clean out the hole for the hammer. Lay the hammer spring on the table like this with a notch to the upper left. Push it to remove the paper clip. Hold it down and remove the spring. This is the kit spring. It's slightly longer. Reinsert it and put your paper clip back in.
paint grease into the slot milled into the face of the hammer. You can use automotive or gun grease. Apply it to the posts as well. Drop it in place. Note the notch is to the upper left. It allows room for the disconnector bar to move back and forth. Put the spacer back on top. Next is the sear. There are two loops on the sear. This is the kit. Hook one loop, then the spring, then the second loop. Next, hook the leg onto the post and into the groove. The sear spring has a shorter leg on the 795 than the 60. It has to clear the detent spring and post. Apply the buffer. The detent post with the spring goes into the hole on the opposite plate. Flip the plate over and align the two. The hole that it goes into is under the chrome. It has to fall into this hole. Nudge the spring and post over till they fall in. You'll know when it falls in. The plates are tight. Apply the retaining ring, wave spring first, then the three remaining. Check your bolt and feel the detent. You can see it move. Check that the hammer works, remove the paper clip, and check the disconnect function, which is this bar. It should come back down. Sometimes it gets stuck up here. The magazine goes up through here and the disconnector allows you to fire. When it's removed, the disconnector is pressed and it can't fire. With the hammer cocked, bring the barreled action with bolt forward. Hook the front under the pin and drop it in. Insert this retention pin. Drop it into the stock. Insert the trigger guard. The long screw goes in the rear and the short screw goes in the front. Dang, 410. Four pounds, 10.6 ounces.